Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for whenever it resonates. I'm not going to put a timing on these. Uh, just an update. I, I feel like these should resonate pretty quickly. Oh, we got two. What do we have for Aries? April. So April is very prominent. Something may have happened in April that is blossoming now. Turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. So we got somebody here that is behaving stupidly. Um, it has to do with April. <laughs> so I'm not sure if something has started in April and somebody needs to take action now. Obviously something needs to be done. Let's get one of these. Somebody is acting stupidly. And what do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for whenever it resonates? Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Ooh, we got a big heart here. We got somebody here that has a really, really, really big heart. This is something to do with the heart. So it has to do with the heart. It has to do with love or the heart or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna put my cards, I'm trying to figure this out, so bear with me as I do. Something to do with the heart. I guess I'm gonna have to bring that camera back a little bit further, but that's okay. So actually, let's get one of these. I could get up and move it, but What do we have for a message today? Aries. Take a moment, Aries. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into decisions. The decisions. Now is not the time to rush into the decision that you are about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. This has something to do with, this, with something that you started in April or something that, you know, started blossoming in April. Um, someone is acting stupidly. You need to obviously make a decision, okay? You need to make some kind of decision. And this is about your heart. Okay? It's about your heart. What does your heart want? What does your heart want? Okay? What's more important here? What's the most important thing to you? Okay? And what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? Well, we got a tower. Here we go again. We got we got a tower uh, moment, okay? So that is an event. It is a fated event. It's fate. It's fate, okay? Something may have happened in April that was fated, that was meant to be, um, or you're about to experience a tower moment. This is a false sense of security that needs to crumble. It needs to break down. It's not real. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's built on false pretenses. There's probably a lot of falseness behind those walls and something needs to break down. It needs to crumble. It's time for you to start with a clean slate. That's what that means. So I do believe that, um, I think that you're feeling some conflict right now. I have the page of swords on the bottom. That is a conflict. It is it's having a hard time. Um, I think you're doing a lot of thinking. You're probably... Uh, Obviously, you need to make some sort of decision. It is a tough decision. You need to be honest with yourself. I feel like you are, have received a message from somebody or you're just in a state of conflict. But this is a, a message of conflict. So I think that you are in a state of conflict over which direction that you want to go, obviously, because you need to take a moment to think about this. This is a false foundation. So if you, you're in something that is not real, Okay, it's not stable, it's not solid, it's not secure. And you need to, this is a relocation is needed. It is, it's time to, to go start over someplace else. 
I think there there could be an upcoming event that that's that this is universal force. You know, everything happens for a reason. The universe may be, may be doing something to force you out of this false sense of security. Um, there's probably going to be a disruption, a dismantling. Could have to do with your health. It could also have to do with your home. Strength just flipped over. So strength is a card of courage, willpower, discipline, determination, uh, letting go of fear. You need to let go of your fear, okay? You need to be strong. Justice. Do the right thing. Act with integrity. This is about making a very big decision. Justice is, is the ultimate decision, right? Doing what's right. Doing the right thing. Acting with integrity. Telling the truth. Being honest with yourself. Um, I do feel like you are needing to be strong during this time. You need to do the right thing. There's, a, there's an imbalance here. You look at, usually with the Justice card, the scales are balanced, but they aren't here. So the scales need to be balanced. You need to bring balance to your life. There's been some sort of injustice. I think you are in an unbalanced situation and there's a there's a rebalancing that needs to happen but it comes from acting with integrity and being honest with yourself and being truthful and I feel like you need to be strong and let go of your fear to bring balance to your life um, there's some sort of contract here you may be in a karmic contract where you have to find your strength to uh, remove yourself from that karma karmic, karmic, karmic contract um, this is making a decision based on the facts, based on the truth, uh, needing to find that strength to do so. So that's something you're going to need to do. Oh, it was meant to come out. I can't make it up, okay? So this is a faded event. This is the universe forcing a change. Here we go. This is the tower. It comes out again in the upright. This is unavoidable change. This is the universe. You this is something you can't control. We got three cards out here. All three of these cards are majors. That means the universe is in control. The higher power is in control. The minors, the minor cards that are not the court cards, that's when you have control. You're, you're this is out of your control, okay? Higher powers control. They've, they're, they're causing some sort of massive change for you. And you're going to need strength. And you're going to need courage. And you're going to need to let go of your fear. Because this is a change that is unavoidable. This is a shock. It is a major disruption. Could be a fight. Could be um, a mate. Whatever it is. It's a major disturbance. It's with a structure. It could be on, in your home. Where you live. In your body. Um, where you work. Something like that. This is a major event. Okay, a major karmic event. There's uh, everything is going to turn out as it should, but it will. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to have courage to uh, remove yourself from this situation. You're in a false sense of security. There is no joke. Okay, that is no joke. This is this is totally uh, about to crumble. Okay, things are about to crumble. You somebody's going to get. I don't know. If somebody's going to get hit. It's like hit by lightning. This is a shock. This is um, a need to relocate. Um, if, if it's not a relocate, it's it's a need to wake up. Um, justice is being served. There's some sort of karma here as well. There is karma in the universe. This is all the universe is part of the universe. The universe is forcing a change. And you're going to need to move forward fearlessly. And it feels like you're moving into a new contract. Because justice is a contract. Whew, this is very... Well, this is a justifi justified change. Put it that way. It needs to happen. This is dangerous. It feels like you're in a dangerous situation. You know, you're in a situation that is not good, okay? It's not a good place to be. It's not. Why would you want to stay there? Hierophant reversed. Hermit reverse, five cards, all majors. 
This is definitely out of your hands there, honey. Okay. There's a lack of consciousness, you know, a lack of Jesus consciousness. There's a lack of spirituality here. We have somebody here that's having a hard time, to, to having a hard time doing the right thing because social pressure. They are. They are having a hard time because what's everybody going to say? That's too bad. Anyway, the hermit, the hermit reverse, lack of awareness, refusing to go within and needing to think about things, time to withdraw. You're going to need to think about this. You are. You're going to have plenty of time to think about this. Anyhow, the Hierophant reversed is disgraced, embarrassed, um, midlife crisis. You're in some sort of predicament that is not truthful. There's an imbalance. There's falseness. There's... Uh, social pressure there's a lack of awareness a lack of consciousness you know uh having a hard time doing the right thing because of society this is absolutely a disgrace there's no commitment here there's no long-term commitment that you I, I i don't know if you're in a, in a situation with a person that will not commit they won't really truly commit this person is very uh untruthful you know they lie to you they hide things from you um, they're not very awakened. They may say that they're awake, but they're not awake. This is somebody that is controlling, has a big ego. This person enjoys the control over you. You allow them to have the control over you. Um, I feel like you are in some sort of commitment with this person, but it's not really a commitment on their side because you see the scales were unbalanced. On One person's committed and the other is not. This is a false sense of security. It's a false foundation. There's a lot of falsities in this union, this partnership. There's loneliness as well. But that tower is a massive change. So there is going to be a massive change. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. Ace of Pentacles, a new golden opportunity in the palm of your hand. You have a new opportunity here. An opportunity to invest in something stable, solid, secure. But that comes after the tower. So there's going to be an event that forces you to... Well, that's necessary evil. The tower is when the universe comes in and causes a major disruption in your life to force you to rebuild a foundation someplace where there's more stability and more security and more ground, you know, fertile ground. Where you're at right now, there's a whole lot of darkness, there's a whole lot of clouds, there's a whole lot of storms, there's a whole lot of waves, and it's dangerous. You know, or it's just not its not a good place to be. You know, you never know what's going to happen, right? It's just a freaking nightmare waiting to happen by the looks of things. Anyhow, um, you do have an opportunity to go down a new path with this Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. This is a golden opportunity that you need, that you could be investing in. Um, this is a new investment. It could be new money. Um, financial stability, financial security, something that could lead some to long-term success, something permanent. This is a gift. It is a blessing. Receiving a gift, receiving a golden opportunity, but you notice it's above. It hasn't been given to you yet because you're still in this false predicament. You're in this predicament. So I do believe that uh, I feel like you are about to get a shock of some sort. This is, a, it is, it is definitely a shock. You're totally unaware of it totally unaware of it um the hair font reverse somebody is in a marriage or a commitment that is unbalanced okay it's unbalanced there's a lot of falsities there's a need to have courage and confidence and strength and willpower to face the truth you're going to be seeing some sort of truth because the universe is going to cause uh, an upset. There's going to be a major upset here, which forces you to see the truth. That's light being shed on some sort of truth. Justice right next to the tower? Absolutely. And you've been completely unaware of something, maybe because this was a commitment that was socially acceptable in some way, you know. Um, but this is like a broken marriage, a broken commitment that is uh, is going to... Well, I think that there's a... There's a a need to be honest and do the right thing. You're going to be in a position where you have to make a decision. I feel like this is a complete shock. It's like, oh my God, I got to do this, whatever it is. Anyhow, the Ace of Pentacles is, um, I don't know if you're going to be 
Well, obviously, you're going to be going down a new path to prosperity after you remove yourself from this false sense of security. So there is going to be a major disturbance either on the home front or within your lock fell out. We're not taking them. Um, with your health, it could be, have to do with your health. Three of Pentacles, right next to that tower. So Three of Pentacles is working together, working as a team, um, communicating, collaborating. You're going to be working with somebody that can help you in some way, teach you some things. I feel like you have some skills that haven't been used, that you haven't been able to use. But you're going to be working with somebody that uh, wants to see those skills, whatever those skills are. It's like this person wants to, they, they believe in you, you know, they believe in your skills. There, there's somebody here that has some sort of faith in you, you know, they want to see what you can do. feels like you're going to be building something. You're going to be building a new foundation some, somehow. That's what's happening. But you're going to be doing it with other people or another person. Hmm. The Five of Cups, grieving over a loss, crying. Five of Cups is a breakup. It is a breakup. It is a separation. It is grieving. It is mourning. There's, an, there's another opportunity for love here that you have been missing. You've been missing an opportunity for love, focusing on something that is already gone. It's already emotionally gone. There's nothing there. It's already, it's already gone. And I think you've been focusing on that when there's another opportunity for love here. It's like moping, you know, moping over something. See, I'll see the spilled cups. That's gone, okay? That once it's gone, it's gone. You know, once it's spilled away, once it's, when, it's, when it's gone, it's gone. But you notice there's two other cups there that are being missed. You know, there's another opportunity for love that you just need to look at. You need to go for it. Why do you keep focusing on something that is not there anymore? If it's gone, it's gone. If the love is gone, the love is gone. Sorry, I'm very uh, outspoken. Eight of Swords in reverse on the bottom. That is freedom. It's an obstacle being removed. I think there's been fear here. You need to let go of your fear. There's this, and that's why the tower is going to be causing you, they're going to push you over the edge in some way. That's what the tower does. The tower forces a change with the first card coming out being the strength. And this is about fear as well. You, you're going to have to face your fears. You're going to have to face your fears about a situation. I feel like we have a, we have a breakup here or uh, marriage problems or somebody don't want to get married or I don't know, something like that. Anyhow, um, Eight of Swords reversed is an obstacle being removed. There's been a lot of lies. Somebody has been restricting themselves. They've been confined because it was comfortable staying in a place that appeared to be comfortable, but it's not really comfortable. It's really like a prison. It's time to break free from this prison and step outside of your comfort zone. It's time to reconnect and socialize and live and balance the scales and get the respect that you deserve because there's somebody here that respects you and sees what you have to offer but you keep focusing on something that's gone so I believe that the universe is going to be forcing you to I don't know make some sort of move and I feel like you're gonna be I think that you are probably gonna make the right decision I do see a move here I feel like I feel like I hate to say this, but I feel like you've been behaving stupidly by holding on to something that has been restricting you. This is restrictions, okay? It's time to uh, step outside, step outside of that comfort zone. It feels like you're in a situation, you know, it's comfortable, but it ain't no fun. It ain't no fun. And you've been moping over some kind of love that is lost when there's another opportunity that you have been missing. And that opportunity is close. It is like right beside you. It's right there. I suggest you go get it. Good luck.